Okay, angle conversion, angle measure conversion. How do we get from one unit of measurement to another unit of measurement? Well, we can start with the fact that uh, pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. Now, if we use some algebra here, if we divide both sides by 180, we would get the equivalent form. One degree is equal to pi divided by 180 radians. Therefore, to get from degrees to radians, you multiply the degrees by pi over 180. Now I can do the same thing I did here but divide it the other way. If we start with the fact that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees then that means that one radian is equal to 180 over pi degrees. Or in other words, if a conversion formula is what you're after, you can multiply whatever radian you have by 180 over pi. That gives you a way to, multi or to, to get from radians to degrees. Let's try that a couple times. Okay, how do we convert from decimals to radian measure? Um, I have 120 degrees. You take your degree measure and you multiply it by pi over 180. This is the same as 120 pi divided by 180 amounts to just reducing the fraction 120 over 180. Um, let's see, the zeros would divide out, so that's the same as 12 pi over 18, divide them both by 6, and we get 2 pi over 3. Equivalently is, of course, 2 thirds pi, um, but you typically see the pi just placed into the numerator of that fraction. Okay, one more just for practice sake, uh, 150 degrees. We multiply by pi over 180. So that is 150 pi over 180, which reduce out by 10 is 15 pi over 18. Both of those divide by three, so we get five pi divided by six. So 150 degrees is equal to 5 pi over 6 radians. Okay, let's do a couple of examples converting from radian to degree measure. So here we're given a radian angle. We want to know what is that in degrees. Really, what is that? Because we're just now introduced to radians and, you know, conceptually I have no idea in my head, like, how big is pi over 10 radians? How, how, how big of an angle is that? Am I talking about a little angle, a, a big angle, you know, acute, obtuse, things like that. So. Um, to get an idea of its size, we're going to convert it into degree measure, and then we'll be able to visualize that a little bit better. So we take our pi over 10, we multiply to get into degrees, we multiply by 180 over pi. This is the same as the fraction 180 pi divided by 10 pi. The pi's reduce, so I have 180 divided by 10 which is 18. So pi over 10 radians, same as 18 degrees. So, mystery solved. It's not that big of an angle. What about 7 pi over 9? How many degrees is 7 pi over 9? So we take it times 180 over pi. So that is 7 times 180 pi divided by 9 pi. Um, the pi's reduce out. Um, 
9 goes into 180 20 times. So I have 7 times 20, which is 140 degrees. 7 pi over 9 is 140 degrees. Okay, let's talk about how do you find the length of an arc. Uh, we'll do it, uh, give you a couple different formulas. One for if the uh, central angle is given in radians, one if it's given in degrees. Let's begin this by just looking at a full circle. Um, we know that the arc length of a full circle is called circumference. And circumference formula is 2 pi times the radius. Uh, well, in fact, we now know that 2 pi, 2 pi is just an angle. It's an angle. It's uh, the radian measure of an angle that makes one full turn of a circle. No coincidence in that we use that 2 pi for a circumference, which is the arc length of one full turn of a circle. Um, but the question is, what if you just want a piece of that circumference? A piece of that circumference is called an arc length. We use the letter S to denote arc length. Uh, well, it's the same formula. We just have to take out the 2 pi and replace it with whatever uh, angle is formed right there uh, to make that arc. So our arc length formula is S equals um, the radius times whatever angle we have that intercepts that arc the, of length that we're after. So S equals R times theta. Well, what if the theta R is in degrees, not radians? How do we do that? Um, well, we just use our, our our angle conversion formula. We know that um, we know that one degree is equal to pi over 180 radians, or again to get from degrees to radians, we multiply by pi over 180. So that's kind of exactly what we're going to do within the formula. The, the formula that we have, S equals R times theta, to get this theta from degrees to radians, we need to multiply it by pi over 180. So the formula would then become S equals R times theta, and we're going to take the theta times pi over 180. I'm going to just kind of rearrange this. Um, it would be pi R theta over 180. And so essentially it's it's the r theta, the arc length is r times theta, but I just simply have the pi over 100, the pi over 180 conversion uh, worked into this formula. So we don't have to take the angle in degrees and convert to radians and use this formula. We can just do the conversion and the formula kind of all at one time. Okay, let's do some arc length examples here. Use an appropriate arc length formula. Use an appropriate arc length. Okay, let's. Okay, let's do a couple examples here. Use an appropriate arc length formula to find the missing information. So here we're trying to find the arc length. We're given the radius, and we're given that the angle is 25 radians. So given that the angle is in radians, we're going to use the arc length formula theta times r. So the arc length is going to be theta, which is 25, times r, which is 2. So it's going to be 50 units r inches. OK, 
Okay, the second example, we've got the arc length, we're looking for the radius, we've also got the angle theta, notice it's also in radians, that leads us to the S equals theta times R formula, which since we're trying to find the R this time, that might lead us to R equals the arc length over the angle theta. So we would have that the radius r is equal to 1.5 divided by pi over 4. Um, let's change that to 1.5 is 3 halves over pi over 4, which is the same as 3 halves times the reciprocal of the denominator 4 over pi. So let's see, we would get then 12 over 2 pi or 6 divided by pi units are feet. If you wanted a decimal, you could certainly use a calculator and, and convert that, but that's perfectly fine too as it is. Okay, let's try a couple of examples, um, same directions, use an appropriate arc length formula to find the missing information. Um, the difference in these two examples from the last two examples is that the angle theta is given in degrees in both of these. So we'll use the other arc length formula. And that other arc length formula is S equals pi times R times theta over 180. So let's see, for, for this number 31 to start, I'm trying to find the R. So I need to rewrite this for the R equals. So R equals, I'll have to multiply the 180. So I'll have S times 180. I'll have to divide by the pi and the theta. So the R is equal to the arc length and the theta is 20. So let's see, uh, 20 goes into 42 times. So we have 2 times 180, the R is 360 divided by pi units are in centimeters. Again, if you uh, wanted a decimal, you could certainly divide that on your calculator. Not a big deal. Uh, the second example, 32, uh, here we're looking for the arc length. So we can just use the arc length formula as it's set up. S equals, it is pi times the radius, which is 5, times the theta, which is 18, divided by 180. So let's see, uh, 18 goes into 180 10 times. So we have pi times 5 over 10. 5 goes into 10 two times. So the arc length S is equal to pi divided by 2 units are feet.